Pluto is a distant icy world at the edge of our solar system. It was discovered in 1930 by astronomer Clyde Tombaugh. Back then, the discovery was a big deal, and Pluto was celebrated as the ninth planet. For many decades, schoolbooks taught children that Pluto was one of the planets just like Earth or Mars. Over time, astronomers found new small worlds beyond Neptune. These objects were similar in size and features to Pluto. As more data came in, scientists realized Pluto wasn't as unique as once thought. In 2006, the International Astronomical Union IAU, made a decision that changed everything. That year, Pluto was reclassified as a dwarf planet. This new category was made for objects that orbit the Sun and are round but haven't cleared their orbital path of other debris. Pluto failed to meet the third requirement. Though the decision upset many people, it helped scientists better define what a planet truly is. Interestingly, the public was emotionally attached to Pluto. It had been a planet in our imaginations for over 75 years. Kids even wrote letters to scientists, especially Neil deGrasse Tyson, asking him to bring Pluto back as a planet. Tyson became a central figure in the debate and received both criticism and praise. Even with its new label, Pluto remains one of the most fascinating objects in space. It continues to surprise scientists with its complex behavior and rich geology. Far from being forgotten, Pluto has become more intriguing than ever, especially after the New Horizons mission in 2015 revealed its icy mountains, nitrogen glaciers, and a thin atmosphere. In recent years, Pluto has returned to the spotlight in discussions among well-known astrophysicists like Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku. Some speculative ideas even suggested that Pluto might one day collide with Neptune, raising eyebrows and sparking public curiosity. But is this really possible? While it may sound dramatic, the truth about Pluto's orbit tells a much calmer story. Pluto has an unusual path around the Sun. Its orbit is highly elliptical, meaning it's more like a stretched oval than a perfect circle. Also, Pluto's orbit is tilted by about 17 degrees compared to the flat plane in which most planets orbit. Because of this tilt, there are periods when Pluto is actually closer to the Sun than Neptune. This situation occurs for about 20 years during its 248 Earth year orbit. It might sound like a collision is waiting to happen, but surprisingly, that's not the case. This safe behavior is due to a precise gravitational resonance between Pluto and Neptune. Specifically, it's a 3 to 2 resonance. For every three orbits Neptune completes, Pluto orbits the Sun twice. This creates a cosmic rhythm that ensures the two worlds are always far enough apart to avoid danger. Even when their paths appear to cross, Pluto and Neptune are never near each other in space. In fact, they're separated by at least 90 degrees in their orbits when they come close. This isn't luck, it's the result of millions of years of gravitational interactions that keep the system in balance. Even though Pluto's orbit looked unstable at first glance, it was actually very stable over billions of years. These simulations proved that even chaotic motion can follow long-term rules. Another key detail is Pluto's vertical motion. Even when it crosses Neptune's orbit, it does so from above or below, thanks to its orbital tilt. This extra spacing in the vertical direction adds another layer of protection. This movement is known as orbital precession, where the orbital path shifts slowly over time. Pluto's orbit also shows a pattern called VSK wobbling, named after scientists who first studied it. It's a subtle rocking motion caused by gravitational forces from other planets. This wobble helps keep Pluto's orbit smooth and avoids sudden changes. It's an excellent example of how small forces add up to a balanced cosmic system. Neil deGrasse Tyson has spoken many times about the beauty of Pluto's orbit. He often points out that even though it looks strange, it shows how gravity can create stability in motion. In his view, Pluto is not a failed planet, but rather an important piece in understanding how the solar system works. Michio Kaku, a theoretical physicist, also finds Pluto interesting. He believes that studying Pluto could uncover hidden forces in space. He has said that Pluto might be the key to discovering unknown objects or even new laws of physics that we haven't figured out yet. 
One such unknown is the mysterious planet 9. This is a hypothetical planet that some astronomers think exists far beyond Neptune. It hasn't been directly observed yet, but scientists believe it might be affecting the orbits of some distant objects, including Pluto. The idea is that planet 9 could be massive and far away, and its gravity might slightly tug on Pluto and other dwarf planets. If this planet exists, it would be a groundbreaking discovery. Teams of researchers are using telescopes and sky surveys to try to spot it. The solar system itself is constantly evolving. The sun is slowly losing mass due to solar winds. As it loses mass, its gravitational pull weakens. This change causes the planets, including Pluto, to drift slightly outward. These slow movements can affect orbital paths over billions of years. Beyond the planets, the solar system is full of comets and asteroids, especially in the Kuiper Belt, where Pluto resides. These small objects occasionally come close to planets and can nudge them slightly. While each individual effect is small, over time, these tiny changes add up. Jupiter and Saturn, the gas giants, also play a big role in Pluto's motion. Jupiter's massive gravity helps keep Pluto from getting too close to Neptune. Some researchers think that as solar wind continues, and as planets move outward, we might see new patterns of orbital behavior. Others are studying tidal forces, which are internal gravitational stresses that could slowly reshape planets' orbits from within. All of these discoveries lead to one conclusion. Pluto is not just a frozen rock. It's a dynamic, active world that offers a window into the deeper workings of the universe. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.